The sex crimes trial of a former priest continues in Victoria with the court hearing today from one of Father Phil Jacobs' accusers. He is one of three former altar boys at St. Joseph the Worker Church. He claims Jacobs touched him sexually before and after Mass, telling him it was okay. Before he testified, another former altar boy told the court that he was never a victim of sex abuse, but he did witness Jacobs' interactions with other children. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. Father Phil Jacobs enters the Victoria Courthouse for day two of his trial, which will pick up where day one left off, with testimony from former altar boy Curtis Duggan. Uh, I saw that uh, Phil Jacobs was arrested back in 2010. Duggan knew Jacobs well. The now 26-year-old served at St. Joseph the Worker Church for 10 years and conducted masses alongside Jacobs, who was the parish priest from 1997 to 2002. Duggan says he witnessed contact between Jacobs and altar boys, but says he was not a victim of sexual abuse. The Saanich police were looking for anyone that had perspective on the case. So uh, I, I came down and gave a police statement and gave my perspective. A perspective he shared with the court today. Duggan recalled numerous movie nights in the rectory basement. All male events where Jacobs would invite altar boys over after mass. Jacobs often had pop and candy available. Why did you come forward? Why did you feel necessary to come forward? That's it, that's it, sorry, thanks. <laughs> Duggan's testimony set the stage for Jacob's first accuser, one of three former altar boys at St. Joseph the Worker Church. The identities of all three men are under a publication ban. The court heard how on more than one occasion Jacobs allegedly touched the former altar boy. He told the court it began as gentle caressing on the outside of his cloak in the genitals and rear area. His testimony went on to say that the touching progressed and recalled one occasion before mass when Jacobs took the boy into a back room of the church. There, he says, Jacob took his own hand and put it down the boy's pants. He also testified that Jacobs would take his hands and put them on his own genitals. He says the touching happened fewer than 12 times. The complainant says for years he kept the incidents to himself, saying we're taught in school that priests are people you trust, that they are good people. Jacobs is charged with sexual assault, two counts of sexual interference with a person under 14, and sexual touching. In the coming days, the court is expected to hear from the other two complainants. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.